Today, I'm going to be making the lock from Jurassic Park. The door locks! Ellie, put up the door locks! Welcome to another episode, and yes, that is the lock that we will be making from Jurassic Park. Hopefully, this will be the first episode of a series that I do. Um, these are just going to be small builds that take about a day, um, so they're quite quick, and yeah, should be alright. We'll see how this one goes. So, I've already gone ahead and 3D printed all the parts. You can get them too in the link below. Just check out the Thingiverse and download everything. So, if these don't fit in your 3D printer, you can do what I've done, and that is basically cut out little sections so you can see all the rough glue that I've had to do there. First things first, we're going to have to clean these up. So, I'm going to give these a nice sand all round. So, I finally finished sanding everything. It turned out looking pretty damn good. Um, I thought I would have needed to use filler for these top sections to sort of get rid of the little grooves that 3D printing leaves. But I seem to have sanded it all away, so that saved me a fair bit of time. All I need to do now is glue these two panels together, and then I can move on to the primer. Honey, where's my super glue? And here we are, one entire piece. Now I added a bit of filler because there was a bit of a lip here and it would have been easy to see once it's painted. So the filler's just made it real smooth now. So before we paint it with the final coat, we're gonna use a bit of primer. This is high build primer or primer filler. It's meant for cars, but it's gonna do the same job, but cheaper. So. Let's give all three of these a quick paint. So you definitely want to give it a sand after you finish priming it. I ended up doing about seven coats of primer to really get a real thick high build on it. So I gave it a nice sand just then. And now it's time to paint. nice and shiny and painted it's basically all finished um, there's two more things I need to do before I can say we're done so the first thing we need to do is make the inner lock mechanism to the outer casing okay so if you're following along you want to make sure you've 3d printed these little um, stoppers and what these are going to do so if we turn around this part here so we're going to want to put these little stoppers just behind this rail and that's going to stop this centerpiece here from sliding out so to get this in all we're going to do is just drop this end bit in first and carefully wedge it forward until it drops down like that then we just want to just push it forward until it slides onto the rails and there we go so that's on the rails so I'm going to glue this little, these two brackets just behind here. So once you do this, you can't take this out. And the second part is we need to cover up all these screw holes. So I, you could either use the proper screws like this, or you can just use these end caps that I made up and they'll cap it off and it'll look nice. To get this as accurate as possible, I took screen grabs from Jurassic Park and went off that and built it in SketchUp. So this design is as accurate as I could possibly get from the screen grabs off the movie. Um, I couldn't find any other source where 
someone had made this before or the actual one from Jurassic Park. I couldn't find anything else other than what I had on the movie. So sometime in the future I'd like to put a motor in the back so it can automatically open and close the lock. I think that would be pretty cool to do. For now it's mostly just for show. So you're probably wondering why make the lock from Jurassic Park when there's like a million other things that I could have done. And the main reason being as a kid I sort of always liked the style and look of the lock for some weird reason. Um, so yeah I finally got around to making it. Uh, I did want to make it in steel at one point, but that would be ridiculously hard to do. Um, especially I'm not, I don't have the tools to do all the steel work. So once again, if you want to print this out yourself, everything's the link below. Um, thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Hopefully plenty more to come. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you in another video.